Timothy, is that right? Yes. <laughs> How I pronounce it? Okay, so Timothy Girard. Girard. Um, Timothy is engineer in geographic information sciences at UMS Riate in GNRS, and he develops several spatial related R packages. He will be talking about this new package, Map SF, a new R package for thematic map, maps. So, um, Timothy, the floor is yours. I will share your presentation and <laughs> good Thank luck. You. Hello. So, uh, yes, one, one of my tasks is to, in my work, is to create packages, R packages, to, uh, for representing special data or for conducting special analysis tasks. One of my latest package is uh, MapSF. It's a, a new package for thematic mapping. Um, the, the aim of this package is to integrate the creation of maps, of publication-ready maps in uh, our workflows. We can consider um, um, a typical workflow where one user have, uh, has uh, some special data. He can, he or she can import it in uh, R with the SF package, and uh, there he can carry out uh, ge geometrical operations or use other packages to to create. Uh, statistical analysis or geostatistical analysis and go back to SF to create other geometrical uh, operations. And then uh, it can create maps uh, uh, and with uh, the map SF package. And once the map is uh, produced, you can either publish it directly or uh, edit it with um, uh, a vector graphics editor like Inkscape, for example. So how does it work? Uh, the package is organized around one main function, which is mfmap. And this function takes uh, as input an SF object. Uh, the name of uh, uh, a variable to, to, to map, and a type of map. So these are the, the three main mandatory uh, arguments. It's uh, simple and limited. And then there is a, a list of uh, other arguments that are documented, documented in, the, um, in the help uh, page. And I try to make this page uh, short and compact, yet complete. With this single function, uh, mfmap, the, the user can create nine map types, uh, which are the a base map, proportional symbols, uh, typology to, to represent categories, choroplet map, uh, or graduated symbols. And this, this kind of maps can be applied to polygons, to points, or to, to lines. And there is also uh, other uh, types of map that combined, where, where you can combine uh, two, two variables, meaning you can use uh, proportional symbols and then use a color in it to represent uh, categories, so you can. And <clears throat> uh, the, the package includes uh, uh, vignettes. Alors in R, vignettes are some kind of long form documentation that are used to, to describe further the, the, the package, detail certain features. And so within MapSF, there is three or four uh, vignettes that detail some, some points. And uh, I have uh, added the, the links in the, in the presentation. So there is nine, nine types of maps. 
And along with these uh, maps, there is also uh, functions to add uh, layout elements to the to the map that are really useful, uh, like the the title, the north arrow, the some credits, uh, annotations, bar scales, or labels. Uh, so these are the the main functions of the of the package. There is, there is not uh, a lot of them. I try to keep the number of functions as low as possible to keep the the documentation clear and to help the user to to not be lost in the in the package. So now I can uh, show you uh, a progressive example where uh, we will build uh, a map from, from scratch. So the, the first line here, uh, MF get MTQ, is uh, a, a simple function to import the sample data set that, uh, that goes within the package. So first we import uh, a map, uh, a map, uh, a base map, an SF object. And our first step would be to represent it simply on a map with uh, the function mfmap with no arguments except uh, x. <clears throat> and so we have the uh, first map. Then uh, I will try to, to represent uh, a variable. This variable is the medium income of uh, Martinique municipalities. So I will use the x argument to indicate the SF object, var to indicate the name of the variable, and the type is coro, uh, coroplet. So very quickly, we can obtain a simple map, not, not very sophisticated, but with uh, the main information. And then I can add a, a series of uh, a, a list of uh, arguments. To, to, to customize the map and to use uh, palettes, uh, color palettes, to change the method to classify the, the data, the number of places, and some uh, parameters that, uh, that helps to, to parameterize the, the legend, its, its position, and, and so on. <coughs> then I can add the layout elements with the function MF title, MF credit, and MF scale, MF arrow, where you can choose the, the you can choose the, the position of the of the legend. You can, sorry. The next step here is uh, with the function MF init. I use uh, a theme. A, a, a design team, a cartographic team, which is the color of the background, the color of the foreground, the, the color of the, of the police, of the, of the text used in, in the map, and uh, the position of the title, its size, uh, some graphic elements that, can, that I can reuse in other maps. Uh, to it, it, uh, this feature is made to, to create templates and to have maps that look the same on, on series. Here is a, a simple uh, cosmetic uh, addition of a, a little shadow under the map. And here is uh, what I think is, is a nice function, is the ability to, to create uh, insets on, on, the, on the map. Uh, and to add in it uh, a world map with the position of an SF object. I, I will come back to this later. And the last element here is the use of expand BB, which the, the name comes from the SF package, <coughs> where you can uh, select the position of the map within the figure itself. So it's uh, easier to have more balanced map with the, the space around the, the, 
the map feature more equilibrated. So I said that uh, it's possible to create inset. You can create inset from one specific feature, uh, like in this example. I take the uh, I create an inset on the first uh, element of the uh, of my SF object, and I can plot it in, in on the on the side of the map. Uh, and here it's the the example with the world map. But in fact, within the, this, um, this inset, you can plot anything you want. So you can plot graphs or uh, other maps or whatever you want. The MapSF use base graphics. So uh, not, it's not compatible with ggplot2 or other uh, graphic devices. It's really used only uh, base graphics. So there is a, a vignette on insets, uh, a vignette on teams, how to uh, customize them, how to uh, modify existing teams, uh, and so on. The MapSF is mainly built around uh, vector, vectorial data, uh, and of course the SF package, but there is a few function, uh, one function, which is dedicated to the display of raster. So you can plot a raster and add uh, a vector, vectorial data uh, on it. The function is called MF raster. So here it's an example with, uh, I can use uh, another library, another package, which is called uh, map tiles. With this package, you can download uh, map tiles from, uh, from a list of providers, uh, mainly using uh, OpenStreetMap data. And along with this package, map types, there is uh, an important function, which is get credits that can be used to add, to, to get automatically the attribution of the map, which is important for when we, you use uh, OpenStreetMap data. The package is uh, fairly new. It's, it's been on Cron for like less than six months. So I, I, I add some feature uh, and uh, the last release is today, I guess, that the last version of uh, MapSF is available on Cron uh, now. And uh, in this version, I've added uh, an MF background function where you can use uh, an image, PNG or uh, GP, GPG, and use it as a background for the map. So it's useful to create uh, this kind of map where you can have a nice background. So like I said, the, the package is new, so there is a lot of a lot, I don't know, but there is some features to, to add. For example, uh, I really liked, uh, I would really like to add some uh, legends for uh, rasters to, to display continuous uh, data or classes or categories, but to, to add legends for, for raster. And also some other, uh, uh, another layout for, for legends, uh, horizontal layouts. And other features, uh, you can tell me on, on the issues of the uh, GitHub repository of, uh, of the package. Uh, <coughs> I, I will talk now a bit on the development side of the package. Uh, I, I have tried to use a, a minimal number of well-known dependencies, uh, meaning there is only three uh, packages that are uh, imported by uh, MapSF, uh, which are pretty solid. Uh, it's Classint, SF, and RCPP. So the, the package is uh, pretty light. Uh, and about the development, I, I use um, continuous integration and continuous development from GitHub Actions. 
for testing the, the package, I use the tiny test package, which is very nice. And one thing I, I come across uh, recently is uh, conventional commits. It's uh, uh, a specification to, to write commits, messages that are uh, relevant and not just uh, XXX update or, or so on. And along with the package comes a, a, a website, this one, where you have all the, the documentation needed for the, the package. So you have first the, the readme of the GitHub, which, is, which will present uh, some examples. There is a get started tab where you have some uh, examples of thematic maps, how to create base maps or proportional symbols map, choropleth map, typology, uh, uh, mixing uh, symbols and typology. And it is also possible to create a map with links. And then there is also three other vignettes, one dedicated to the creation of each set, in sets. Sorry. One other dedicated to the uh, export, which is not that simple with uh, our graphics. So I tried to create uh, one function to ease this process, uh, MF export function, and uh, a vignette on uh, Teams. What are the default parameters and how to modify or create a new theme? So thank you. Uh, here and uh, I uh, added the, the address of the website, the address of this presentation, and some uh, the GitHub of the MapSF package, the repository, and my Twitter handle, where I uh, on Twitter I post only uh, about uh, geography and all spatial uh, stuffs and updates on packages I work on and my blog. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Timothy, for your presentation. Very nice. Super nice visualizations and, and maps. And also the documentation looks very nice. I mostly work with raster data, so <laughs> I'm like kind of a newbie with the vector stuff, but they look very nice. Um, so thanks again for your presentation. We have uh, some questions. You are getting some applause in the in venues. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have some questions from the audience. Um, the most voted voted question is: What are the main differences between MapSF and TMap? I think you expected this question. <laughs> Uh, in fact, there, there is several differences. The, the TMAP package is uh, more mature. Uh, it, it, it has started in 2015, I think, or something. And uh, uh, there is also something that is not on MapSF, it's the interactivity. With TMAP, it's pretty mm -hmm. easy to create maps uh, and to to make them interactive. Uh, so uh, I have decided to not touch interactivity in MapSF. I will not go on this side, but it's pretty nice on uh, Intimap. And the main difference is uh, on the, uh, one difference in the way to, 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 to write the, the code, the, um, the, the spirit uh, that is uh, behind in Intimap, the, I think, I'm, I'm not a specialist, but I think they, they use the grammar of graphic, where, which uh, ggplot2 use also. 
with a, a plus sign and some uh, some stuff. But I'm I'm not specialist then. But one thing and the other thing is the uh, MapSF use only uh, base or graphics. So there is no other packages to 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 display the the the. The, the points and the polygons on the on the graphic device, so it's lighter and for me, it's uh, more flexible. Okay, thank you. But the, the so, aim of the two packages is uh, the same. Okay, okay. Um, so maybe you already answered one of the questions that was there. Um, which was, does it work with packages in the tidyverse, like using pipes and such? Uh, but then you said that like the syntax is different and all, and it's base R, right? Nevertheless, you can use, uh, uh, I think I, I have an, an example on the, on the site. I, I will add your presentation again. The, the MapSF package is compatible with the, the pipe syntax uh, to a certain extent, uh, not for all the operations, but you can use the, the native pipes, the new native pipes of, uh, of air or the Magritar uh, pipe, uh, because the MF map and most of the function uh, have as outputs uh, the invisible X that is. Uh, as uh, an input. So there is no transformation, but the object is passed from functions to functions. Okay, thank you. Um, the other question with the lot with three votes is can you add multiple map layers? Yes, of course. You can add uh, as many as you want. You can add one uh, one polygon layer, then a point layer, a line layer, another uh, Polygon layer. I don't. I don't have an example, but yes, yes, of course. In fact, the uh, MF map functions without any other arguments uh, except X is uh, mainly a, a wrapper around the plot ST geometry the object. So it, you can of course put as many layers as you want. And did I get well that? Does it also allow raster maps or? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You. Um. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Uh, an example of uh, one uh, of uh, of tiles from uh, Stamen, and it just plot the the raster. And my idea is to add some legends to, to display, I don't know, current land cover or places or, or continuous data for uh, uh, population grids or something like that. Okay, but and what, what, uh, about, yeah. what about satellite images like RGBs and things like that? Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's also possible. I mean, this map uh, uh, here, is uh, RGB. It's, it's mm -hmm. not. It's not satellite, but uh, it has three. Uh, three the layers. three channels. Yeah, three yeah. channels. Yeah. And the last one we have <coughs> is: Can I also build my own map templates for Map SF? Uh, yes. To yeah, yeah yes. Uh, in fact, you can modify existing temps. Like uh, I, I, I have tried to use uh, different terms in different maps, but you see here the the position of the title can be changed and etc. And uh, and it use uh, the MapSF uses uh, base base graphics. So if you uh, if you if you can do it, if you can use base graphic to add uh, logos or to add image or to put the title or to put text uh, on other place, it's really simple. But if you if you know how to do it, it uh, it's really possible. I mean, the the graphic device is uh, is is open. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we have 
no other questions from the audience. Uh, do you want to make any other comment or call for volunteers or whatever? This is your space. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, uh, I really appreciate when users came back to me and, say, and they said that oh, there is a problem or I, I don't understand this thing. Can it be more simple? Or, so um, I, I, I love feedbacks. So that one point <laughs> for sure and one other point is uh, I will try to to create another package to 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 allow to create more advanced map like uh, smoothed map or discontinuities or some stuff like that in, in fact just before map SF uh, with a colleague we have created another cartographic package, which is called cartography, which is in fact superseded by MapSF. And in this package, we, we, uh, we the, there was some special analysis uh, functions that are not in MapSF because I want to keep MapSF uh, tidy and compact. But I think we, I can recreate some other representation like uh, gridded or, or some stuff like that. Okay, very good. So a last question appeared like in the last minute. Um, what about multiple maps like side by side or I mean like faceted probably? Yeah. Uh, again, it used base graphics. So with the, the function par and uh, MF row or MF call, you can add a uh, row or calls and create the the, the facets uh, the right. old, school, old school way. Old, old style base R, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Timothy. Like. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. Thanks to the audience for the question and please give an applause and hearts to, <laughs> to Timothy if you enjoyed his presentation. Thank you. Thank you. We will take a short two minutes break before the, the next.